hello everyone welcome back to my channel technology and today in this video tutorial i will show you guys how to set up a file server on your ubuntu machine for your small office or home network you will also learn how to access the share folder and files from any devices connected on your local network so without wasting much more of your time let's get started first of all download ubuntu server iso file from the official website of ubuntu and after that you need to download the bootable usb maker which is rufus both the link i will provide to my video description after that open rufus tool on your computer and after that select the iso file of which i have downloaded from ubuntu website and select your pen drive and create a bootable usb at first open boot menu and boot from your usb pen drive after that select the first option which is try or install ubuntu server after getting this screen, you need to press enter to choose language. Again, you need to press enter. Here on this window, you need to press tab and press enter to click on done. As you can see, my Ethernet is already connected and is showing like DHCP IP. Now I will press enter. Proxy at this, I will not put anything, just press enter. Now you need to press enter to done and then press enter to continue. Here on this window, I will choose the entire disk and here I will choose my whole hard drive. I will press tab key and after that press enter to done. Now here on this window, you need to fill you with your details like name, server name, username and password. Now on this window, you need to check that option which is install open SSH server. So you need to press tab key then space key to select that option after that again tab key to done. Again you need to press enter and now as you can see the installation started so you have to wait for a few minutes. After done you need to select the reboot now option and press enter. Now you need to remove your USB pen drive and after that press enter. So here is my windows computer from here I will connect that Ubuntu machine so for that I will choose CMD here you can use a software like putty okay so I'll connect through a command prompt so what I have to type is over here is uh, SSH then my username which is technology and then at the rate the IP of the Ubuntu machine which is 139 in my case I'll press enter now I'll type I have to type yes over here now I have to put the password for my Ubuntu machine and as you can see it is connected successful. So I will give you all the command on my video description so you can easily visit to my website which is technology.in. Here I have already mentioned all the command okay. So now uh, first I will update uh, the Ubuntu server for that I have to type sudo apt update and after that press enter I have to put my password next i need to install the samba on on my ubuntu, ubuntu server so for that i have to type over here sudo apt install samba space minus y so samba is basically help me to create file server under ubuntu server so after type this command so you need to press enter and it will take some time to install samba after done i will create a different user for this uh samba to access this samba file server for that i have to type i will create here two user one is office user one and two so i have to type sudo add user office user one after that press enter and i have to put the password and enter then again the password then enter then enter 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 and all the information correct i will type y and press enter after done i will create another user which is sudo add user space office user 2 which is in my case office user 2 is my next user and i'll press enter then password password enter then y and press enter after done i will create one group and under that group i will use means add this to user so the command is sudo group add then group name which is office group and press enter 
After done, I will add both the user to this group. So the command will be sudo, sorry, sudo user mod, then space minus a in small g in caps, office group, then office username, which is office user one and press enter. Next, I have to add office user two. The command will be same, only you have to change the username, which is office user two in my case. After that, uh, I have to uh, create one folder, okay, share folder. So the command will be sudo mkdir, means make directory, space minus p. I will create under home folder. So I'll type over here home slash technology share. Okay, so here's my folder name as you can see. So I'll press enter. After done, I have to uh, change the permission. Um, for that, I have to type the command is called sudo chown space minus r, then group name, office group, then the location. Location is this one. I'll copy and paste it over here. Next, I have to give full permission to that group so that command will be chmod sudo space chmod space minus r then the permission which is 077 and then location and press enter after done i have to configure the smb dot uh, con file for that i have to type over here sudo nano space etc sorry sudo nano space etc and samba then smb.conf after that press enter now you need to go to the last line just press down arrow key now you need to go to my website and copy the um copy this command only you have to change the user uh only you have to change the path okay so path is technology slash technology share okay after that you need to press ctrl plus o to save this right out and press enter and then ctrl x to exit, exit this window so after done i will restart the uh, samba service so that i have to type sudo system ctl restart smbd to that press enter now I'll try to access that uh, share folder from my this Windows machine. So at first I'll press Windows plus E together to open File Explorer and after that open uh, on this location option you need to type slash slash the IP address of your Ubuntu server then press enter. Now it will pop up the username and password so you have to put your username and password over here and after that I will click on OK. Now as you can see the folder is showing. Now you can easily map uh, this folder to your my computer. So before ending this video, I would like to big thanks to all my channel members. A special shout out to everyone who regularly watches my videos and support the channel through membership. Your support truly means a lot. So if you want to support the channel too, then click on the join button and become a channel member to help me to making more helpful content like this. Thanks again for watching and as always, I will see you on the next one.